Okay, so we've got a matching question. It says figure one, which is this one here, shows the possible allocations of six people to six tasks. Write down the technical name given to the diagram shown in figure one. Well, the diagram shown in figure one is a bipartite graph. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to put here part A, and I'm going to put a bipartite graph as follows. Okay? So the graph, it's a set of nodes, uh, let's say X, and a set of nodes Y, where there are connections or edges between set X and set Y, but not within either set X or set Y. Then it says, the usual question, it says, starting from the given initial matching, use the matching, ma uh, matching algorithm to find a complete matching, and this is very important, you should list the alternating paths you use and state your improved matching after each iteration. So that it makes me think that there's going to be two iterations here. So I'll show you the way to do these questions. So the first thing you always do for part B, you state your initial matching. So you write initial matching. Now this is just a copy uh, of what's on your answer booklet. So they give you um, the following diagrams. You might need this one afterwards. Here's our initial matching. So you state that A is with 1. You state that uh, B is unmatched currently. You state that H is with 3. You state that I is currently unmatched. You state that L is with 4. And you state that R is with 5. Okay, so we've used this diagram here, the initial matching from figure 2. So our aim is to improve the matching and get a complete matching. Okay, so the first thing we do is we find what's called an alternating path. So we're going to look for what's called an alternating path. Now an alternating path is a, is a path that goes from uh, this set to this set here, such that it, it is not in the initial matching and then in the initial matching and it goes from two unmatched nodes. So it starts here and it will end at one of the unmatched. So let's maybe start at B and see if we can create one. So B, where could B go to? Well, B could go down here to four. Okay, so we're gonna put B stroke four like that. But four is currently with L there. So we write equals L to show B could be with four, but four is currently with L. Now L, where could we go uh, with L now? L could either go to, to 5 or to 3. So let's make it go up here to 3. So L could go to 3, which is currently with H. So equal H. And when we're at H, we could go off here to 2, and we end up at another unmatched. So we could say to 2, like that. Now this is a what's called um, um, an alternating path, because it went from B and it went all the way to two, so it went from an unmatched to an unmatched. So we do a, a thing here, we say change status, so we change the status of this alternating path, change status, and all we do in the change status line is make these dashes equals and make the equals uh, dashes. So we're now we're saying that B is now made with four, it's no longer with L, which is now going to be made to go to three, and 3 is no longer with H because H is now going to be forced to go to 2. And at this stage, it's really important to state your improved matching. So let's state the improved situation here. So the improved matching. Well, A didn't change at all. So A is still with 1. But there's good news now. B is not question mark. B is now with 4. H, well, that is no longer with 3. It's actually now with 2. So H is with 2. I, well we haven't altered I, so we're going to write leave I a match, I is question mark. L isn't with 4 anymore, it's now with 3, so L is with 3. And lastly, uh, R hasn't been moved to, so R is still with 5. Okay, so that's our improved matching. And it means we've just got one more now to complete. We've got to go from I, which is unmatched, and the only one that's un unmatched is 6, so we've got to try and get from I to 6. Now I find it helpful to draw in my improved uh, matching. I always find that helpful. So I'm going to draw my improved matching maybe here. I know A is with I know A is with 1 and B is with 4. So I'm going to put A is with 1 
and I'm going to put B is with 4. And also I'm going to say H is with 2, L is with 3. So H is with 2, L is with 3 like that. And uh, R is with 5, so R is with 5. So you can clear, clearly see we're trying to get from I then to 6 and that would be a complete matching. So let's start off by um, stating our initial, our, our initial matching. So our initial matching... Well, it's clearly just the improved matching from before. So it's A is 1, B is 4, H is with 2, I is question mark, L is with 3, and R is with 5. Okay, now we're looking for an alternating path. So we're going to look for an alternating path. Now remember, an alternating path is going to go from I to 6, hopefully. So we're going to start off with I. So we're going to say I could be with, now let's look at our possibility matrix. I could only be with 1. So we're going to say I could be with 1. But in our initial matching, 1 is with A. So we're going to say, but that is with A. And A could go down to 3. So we're going to say, could go to 3. But we're going to say, we can see here that from this one here, but that is with L. Okay, so looking back up here where L is, so we're down here to L. Where do we want to get to? We want to get to 6, so we're going to say L could go to 5. So we're going to say L could go to 5. But we know 5 is with R, so that is equal to R. And now we're at R here, and we could say go to 6. So we're going to say go to 6. Like we did before, we have to write change status, so we're going to change the status. So we're going to say that I is now matched to 1, which is no longer with A, because A is going to be matched to 3, and 3 is no longer with L, because L is matched to 5, and 5 is no longer with R, because R is matched to 6. And now we should have a complete matching. So let's state our complete matching. So complete matching. Well, A is now with 3. We have it here. A is with 3 from up here. Now, B, B did not change in this alternating part, so B is still remains with 4 from our improved matching. H, well, that still stayed with 2, so H is still with 2. I, well, now we know I went with 1, so I has gone with 1 from here. L, well, L changed to be with 5, so L is with 5. And R, well, that changed to be with 6, so R is with 6. And we have our complete matching, and we're done for this question.